Welcome to the DonorWise Learning Library. This session is a quick overview of DonorWise and its key features. There are a lot of features in DonorWise and it would take me an hour to explain even a handful of them. So I just want to touch on a couple of the very most commonly used features and why DonorWise is such a helpful product. DonorWise, of course, is a donation processing tool. That's its core function. And in that respect, it is fast and consistent and logical it's very secure in the way it handles transactions. It also prevents errors automatically. It just its design is built to prevent errors of data entry and that's helped. It charges assessments at the time of gift, which is great for staff accounts. You don't have to come back later and do it. It even handles special assessments for credit card gifts or other gifts that have unique fees associated with them. It prepares donor receipts that I'll show you and it provides easy posting to accounting systems, whether it's an automatic link or even a manual entry. Now, in addition to donation processing, of course, it has contact management because you can't process contributions unless you also have people. Who are your donors and who are your staff members? And in that respect, it is consistent and thorough. It passes information on to staff members automatically through TNT MPD software. It also offers easy lookup for leadership and fund development in terms of asking questions about who gave and how much was given for what projects and things like that. It also has a bunch of reporting tools included in it, such as, the, as I mentioned, an easy link to TNT MPD for passing information on to staff members, as well as a variety of built-in reports. Now let's take a quick look at DonorWise and I can show you some of these features at work. This is the main screen in DonorWise when you first come in. There's nothing showing because you have to select an area in which you're going to work. For what we're going to do first in this example, we're going to look at making a new batch. Now, I'm not going to walk through you through all of the steps of making new batches. There's other videos that can do that. I just want to show you data entry. So I've already created this batch and identified that it has some donations in it. This batch has 300 euros worth of contributions. I've already added them up in advance. And there's two donors who gave 150 each. And the first donor is Mickey Mouse. And I just need to start typing his name and press F3 and it pops up a list of everybody in my list who has those letters in his name. And Mickey Mouse is a 100% match. So I click OK and I enter the 100 euros of this gift. And one of the neat features of DonorWise is it knows that Mickey Mouse has supported these three staff members in the past. Now he might be supporting something else, but most of the time donors keep supporting the same thing they have in the past. So DonorWise makes it easy to do that. So I can select Bob Parr, our campus director, and just move forward and press enter. And I'm finished with that. See, DonorWise wants to make it as easy and logical as possible to enter contributions and also to do it with as minimal amount of errors. I have one more donor I'm just gonna, who is Donald Duck. I click OK on that. And he's giving a 200 euro gift also to Bob Parr. And then I'm finished with that. Once I'm finished with that, DonorWise automatically moves it on to an approval screen because in many ministries, there's a different person who enters contribution from the person who approves it. And I can just check that box and approve it and it would move forward then to go to the accounting system. When I select this batch from the posting screen and I say post, DonorWise is going to provide me with the entry that goes into our accounting system exactly as I need to do it with all the general ledger accounts, the responsibility centers, and the debit and credit amounts. And once I'm finished with the batch, it is then available to be sent to the staff members via TNT, MPD, and uh, an intermediary tool called Data Server. Now let me show you how this works from the staff member's perspective. Now here's a little diagram that shows how financial information flows from our ministry to staff members. Over on the left, there's two financial systems that ministries will use. First of all is the accounting system, the general ledger, where non-donation items are entered in detail. And then there's DonorWise, where donation entries are made in detail. And then there's this intermediary tool called Data Server, TNT MPD Data Server, that accesses both DonorWise and the accounting system and consolidates that information and holds on to it until staff members are ready to view it. The nice thing about Data Server is that it will post to the web, making it easily accessible to staff members, your staff members anywhere in the world. It also prevents them from accessing your ministry systems directly, and that's a great security fee. And then on the right, the staff members have two options for accessing this information. First of all is a tool called the Staff Portal, 
which is a website where they can view donation information and in some cases staff account balance and income and expense information. Or they can download these contributions into TNT MPD. Let's take a look at how that happens. Okay, here I am in TNT MPD. TNT MPD is a software that more than 10,000 missionaries in over 500 mission agencies are using to track their financial giving and build relationships with their donors. And what TNT MPD will do is connect with this web server and download not only contributions, but also the donor names who gave those contributions. Now the staff member comes and they press a button called gift input. It connects with the ministry and they download it. And there's those two gifts that I just entered, the one from Mickey Mouse, the one from Donald Duck. And now our staff member can look at Mickey Mouse is giving and there we see that hundred dollar gift in the list of gifts that Mickey Mouse has given. And so what DonorWise and Data Server and TNT MPD allow you to do is effectively and efficiently process contributions and send that information to staff members. Now let's take a quick look back at DonorWise and a couple of the other features. In addition to the donation processing features, DonorWise has contact management features. So here is Mickey Mouse's contact information and then it will send that to the staff member through TNT MPD. There's some several other things that we can do with donor information. I can look and see all of the donations that Mickey Mouse has ever given our ministry. Even mistakes that were made, it'll show me. Notice this one here is in red because we made a change to a contribution. Maybe it wasn't uh, delivered to the correct staff member or maybe we entered it twice or something like that. So all of his donor information is here, which is very nice. It's so easy to have it all in one place. And for a staff member, like Bob Parr, our campus director, I can do the same from the other direction. I can see a gifts received list that shows me all of the gifts that have ever been given on his behalf. I can connect Bob Parr with our accounting system by identifying his specific responsibility center in our accounting system, what assessment is charged to donations that come in on his behalf. There's a change log that shows me any change that I've made to this staff member, to, to any contact in the list. Did I change their name, their name, their address, their phone number, their company, or anything like that? And who made that change and when did they make that change? Okay, one thing that DonorWise also does, I want to show you real quick, is print receipts. So here are those two gifts, again, from Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And I'm going to check this box and just say, print these receipts. Here's a copy of the DonorWise receipt that comes with DonorWise. It's got three different sections that are designed to provide helpful information to the donors. In the middle section is the donations that are on this specific receipt. So here's that 100 euro gift. And then below that is a 12 month giving history that allows the donor to see everything they've supported in our ministry every month for the last 12 months. The bottom section is a return portion that they can cut out and return with their next gift. So that's the receipt report that goes out to donors every month. DonorWise also has a number of reports that you can run for leadership and management. Lots of different reports that you can run. Very helpful information. Now one other thing I wanted to tell you about DonorWise is not so much about the tool itself, but how to learn about the tool. DonorWise and TNT MPD have built-in help that allows you just to press F1 and get help for whatever you're doing. So again, this is the entry screen where we enter donations. And let's say you're new to this or have some questions about what some of these fields mean. You can just press F1 and get help for this specific screen and it will walk you through all the steps necessary for using this screen here. DonorWise help is very, very thorough and has step-by-step -step instructions on almost every single task. There's also a number of videos that we have that can teach you how to use DonorWise, as well as a downloadable packet of reference guides or one-page guides on using DonorWise. So that's our quick overview of DonorWise. I hope that's helpful to you.